all set. And they're off. So racing over the round mile, Theon broke the line first. Also, Lola Showgirl is prominent through the very early stages. Out a little bit wider, Caspian Queen is another one who stays forward. And the one who didn't come out of the stalls, the stunning beauty, stunning beauty, didn't come out of the starting stalls, is now chasing them, but has been pulled up at the end of the first hundred yards. So stunning beauty, number four, uh, gave you no run whatsoever there. Lola Showgirl out in front to Fion racing in second on the end outside is Apricot Moon and wider still is Quick Step Lady and there they're being followed by Dream Loafer in the red colours then up against the inside rail is Angel of the Glen who's racing in sixth position Miss Mulligan is just in behind them with So I Told You on that one's outside and then Tomorrow's Dream then working towards the inside of the pink colours of Folas just in advance of Delany Jujo as they go into the turn at the moment mostly is slightly detached from the main body of the field by a couple of lengths declared interest is also towards the rear, so to his lights on, who's only got three behind at this point, also Waliat towards the rear, as they've made the turn in, they race on now towards the final quarter mile, and Lola Showgirl taken on by Fion, then towards the outside is Apricot Moon, angling out, Angel of the Glen now, is staying on towards the inside, Folas and Separate, also trying to pick up down the outside, declared interest, it's coming with a little bit of a run, they're racing inside the final furlong, it's Lola Showgirl, still by about a neck to Fion towards the outside, in second, and Folas is in third on the wide outside. Delaney Jujo is picking up, and it's Lola Shogel out in front. And here's a shock winner of the finale. Lola Shogel wins a first win of Royal Ascot for Laura Pearson. It was Lola Shogel who made every single yard in the running and held them all at bay. Fion chased her every step of the way, and Wellyak stayed on late. So there's Lola Shogel beating Fion by three quarters of a length. It's tight third between Waliak and Declared Interest, who both came from a long way back. And then in fifth place is Folas. For the headline out of this race, it's a first win at Royal Ascot for Laura Pearson. And she wins on Lola Showgirl. Holly, yesterday, Laura today. And that looks like a 1-2 for the trainer, David Lochnane, the winner in the colours of Catherine Brown from Pontefract winning at Royal Ascot. Wow, up on the pace the whole way. Theon quite happy to just slot in behind Laura. Well, Marco Ghiani, who won earlier on his first Royal Ascot win, he was champion apprentice on the all-weather this winter. Laura Pearson was leading that race, took a little bit of a break. She ended up finishing second and then gets this enormous success on the board. Well, yeah, she still claims five, doesn't she? Possibly as a result of taking that break, but beautifully timed here in front because really, when you look back through the field, not a huge amount changed. You had... Uh, lights on making up a bit of ground from behind but Fion was uh, in the box seat a lot of the way you had Folas running pretty well from a, a strong position but the leader was able just to keep finding and keep going all the way to the line despite uh, a good late surge from declared interest as well just looking now Laura gets down in the drive Fion's coming and we're thinking right is there anything closing from out of the clouds Richard Kingscote himself was the leading all weather rider this winter so he's continued his good run for Forward. Laura Pearson, though Neil Pollard is her um, jockey coach from the British Racing School, gets that first Royal winner. Full stop. Oh, what a fairy tale! She's only been riding for four seasons. This is just her 41st career success. And Laura Pearson, you are a Royal Ascot winner. Oh, I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's um, just quite incredible, really. <laughs> But Holly Dawes been doing brilliantly and behind the scenes you have been developing very fast as well. So it's not a surprise for those of us who watch the sport every day. <laughs> yeah, I mean Holly's a, she helps me so much and as well as Hayley, I, I can't thank them enough for the amount of times they've given me a hand and it's paid off. <laughs> Tell me about your run. Um, absolutely lovely run. She bowled out, she's been running over seven but um, Mr Lockman said she, she won every, every stride of the mile. Um, Bowled out, got into a lovely rhythm, and she just kept plugging on for me. As, as a young jockey making your way into the game, can you give viewers any idea what it means to win a Royal Ascot race? Just unimaginable, honestly. Just, I never ever dreamt, of, uh, I mean, I jumped a bit, but I never thought it any ever happen. <laughs> well, Laura, you're no showgirl, you're a jockey, well done.
She's made such a good impression all year, Laura, and now she's winning on this stage. And for the trainer to have a one, two, that is quite something. The results yet to come in. We will see Laura come in as well when we come back. And she's rounded off quite a day here, day two at Royal Ascot. And we'll wrap it all up when we come back.